Hey guys, my name is Nazar, and in this tutorial I'll show you how I create hair in Blender. Here is the final renders. The first step is selecting the scalp area. It's easier when you have a UV map done. Then I separate it and scale it down under the mesh a little bit. Now in particle tip I create a new hair particle system. I'm gonna name it hair underscore nape. Next I adjust the length of the hair. And set the hair number to zero. Now I go into particle tab, I choose the add brush and increase the number of keys up to 12. Now I draw the first level of the hair. Also I have a mirror enabled here. Using comb brush I pull all the hairs down and then adjust them in the needed shape. Now I can disable the mirror. I use the length brush to correct the length of the hair. To get an approximate idea of how it will look on render, I go to the children settings and set the children to simple. Here I'm gonna adjust the radius and increase the display. To make the hair look more smooth, I go to the display settings and activate the display. To make the hair less flat, I also change the roundness. If you want to adjust one strand separately, you just select the key of the strand and press L. Now I create a new level of the nape hair. When I'm out of the particle mode, in the display panel I increase the steps for better quality. The next step is creating a new hair particle system. I choose hair underscore nape and then click this do button to make this particle system unique and name it hair underscore side. Now I'm gonna repeat the same steps as with the first system and make the hair from the side.
Now I want to change the curve of the strands, so I'm gonna activate the clump curve and define its shape like this. Now I'm gonna duplicate this side by pressing W and then choose Mirror. The next step is creating the top hair, so I'm gonna name it hair underscore crown. The crown hair is divided in two halves, so I start by adding new hair along the head. Then I'm gonna select just two keys of all the strands and by pressing W subdivide them. Now I disable length and root and by selecting all particles I'm gonna lower them down in the skull just a bit. Now I start defining the shape. Also, I want to change the clump curves so the roots of the hair were thinner. Now it's time for the right side. I'm gonna hide the finished strands by pressing H and start adding new particles.
Using the same methods, I feel the back of the head. Now I'm gonna create the last particle system. I'll name it here underscore key. So these are a bit naughty strands, which will give more natural look to the whole hairdo. To make them easier to see later, I'm gonna create a new material and change the viewport color on green. Now in the render panel, I send this material. Next, I'm gonna make it thinner by reducing the radius size. Now I'll change the clump curves so with this very thin at the end. Now I keep adding new strands with the purpose to highlight and kinda exaggerate the shape of the hairdo.
Once the key hair is done, it's time to play around with children's settings to make the hair look more natural. First, I'm gonna increase the amount of random and as you can see, the hair immediately got fuzzy. I also play with the size a bit and now I need to mix this fuzzy hair with the normal one, so I increase the threshold. Now I repeat my actions for the other systems. For the key hair, I usually change king and braid and then adjust the following settings. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments.